Hey everyone. So right now I have um the ingredients to make arroz con dulce. Not arroz con dulce. Look at me. I'm just so stuck on arroz con dulce. Arroz con gandules, <laughs> which um is Puerto Rican uh Spanish rice that usually we cook on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. So these are the ingredients. Here I have, um, what do I have? Five cups of rice. I have some onion powder, some adobo, some uh, black pepper, achote oil. This is some of the grease basically uh, from the pernil that I already cooked. This I have, this is the adobo, the onion powder, and the black powder. Black powder, the black pepper. I have a bunch of olives in here and some garlic cloves. About three big spoonfuls of sofrito. I have a piece of green pepper, piece of red pepper, some cut up cilantro, and I have some um, gandulas that have been uh, soaking for a few hours. I also have a packet of Goya jamón flavor and two packets of sazón. I don't know if I'm going to use this whole ham or two of these packets. So we'll go, uh, I'll let you know as we go. Okay, so over here in my um, pan pot, I put some of that achote oil. I'm going to add the gondola. The seasoning. Okay, so I'm going to add the sofrito. Mix it up. Okay, so I'm going to add about half of that jamón packet. This one. About half. A whole packet of sazón. So I'm just mixing this all up. Okay, so I decided to add that other pack of um, sasong. So right now I have two packs of sasong here. Okay, so now I'm going to add the olives and uh, garlic cloves. And also those two big pieces of pepper, green pepper, red pepper. And the cilantro, cilantro, and also that gravy from the pernil. And you guys, I forgot to mention, you. I had five, I'm using five cups of uh, rice, so I need five cups of water as well. Okay, so I'm going to add the five cups of rice. And mix it in. Okay, mixed in the rice good there, and now I'm going to add the water. Okay, so right now I have this on high, and um, I added the water, mixed it in well. I'm going to wait just until it starts bubbling, top it, and then lower it to between the two and three. I have an electric stove, so um, I guess that's low, medium, low, medium, low, or a little less than that. I have it between two and three, and then I'll cover it for about 25 minutes, and then it should be done. Okay, so this is what you want. Just when it just starts to uh, bu bubble up like this, I'm going to top it, top it, lower the heat to between two and three, like I said, and then I'm going to cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, guys, so the rice is done. I cooked for about half hour, and this is what it looks like, and it smells absolutely amazing.